really, really frustrating to come into a game like this um, after having 16 days to kind of sit with a pit game in your stomach. To see the improvements and the strides that we've, we made defensively um, and the way we played tonight was encouraging. To see the strides and the positive things we've done from a kicking game standpoint is extremely encouraging. Um, offensively today, we, we, outside of the first drive of the opening drive of the game and the opening drive of the second half, uh, we couldn't put anything together consistently. I mean, we believe at halftime we only had about 75 yards, and I think offensively they went out and we moved the ball much better in the second half. The, the game, this game is about two things. I mean, it's about turnovers and it's about penalties. The, the penalties absolutely, um, they hurt us tonight. I'm certainly not going to blame this game on officiating, but they certainly hurt us tonight. Uh, nine penalties, I think, is probably as many since we, that we've had since I've been here. It's way too many penalties. We've got way too many foolish penalties that we've got to be able to eliminate and turn the ball over like that. We, we gave up, we gave them seven points last year in a game where they scored, where they won by three, and we gave them seven more this year in a game that they won by six. We talked to the team about how close this game has been over the years and went back and looked at it from a turnover standpoint, and the team that has won the turnover battle has won the game. We have outgained them in every game for the last seven years. Uh, it's not just about talent or being able to stop them or being able to move the ball, but it's learning about how to play smart and play winning football. And we made too many mistakes today. We had our opportunities. We didn't make the most of them. We, we started slow offensively, but I thought defensively we really played well, and I thought the special teams but special teams played well outside of a missed kick into the into the wind, which was right at we were right at the mark. I mean, we had asked going into the going in before the game how what was his distance into the wind. He said about 46. We were right at 46, and you know, maybe it was 45. You know, we were we were a yard off because it was right there. And then the second one, he just overkicked it. But it was a close football game. I give Connecticut credit. They they competed in there. We've got a lot of guys in there that are hurting. I think this team played extremely hard, and I've been proud of the way that they've worked. I've been proud of the improvements that we made from Pittsburgh to here. We just, they're all going to be close games, and the way you're going to win them is to eliminate some of the foolish penalties and to stop turning the ball over. Skip, I know your praise for BJ all along the season has been the lack of turnovers and the lack of mistakes. What changed today? What do you think had him make the mistakes he made? Well, you know, the only, really, the only two interceptions that, that he threw, he threw one interception on, on a check play when, when Evan Landy got undercut in man coverage going down into their end zone, and their guy made a play on that one, and he got, he got a ball batted that was deflected. I mean, those things are going to happen as a quarterback. You certainly can't blame BJ. We tried to roll him out and get him out on the perimeter and get him out of the pocket um, where he wasn't having to throw out of a hole. And the guy threw his arms up and tipped the ball, and that led to the second interception. So um, I certainly am not – I don't think it was a carelessness with the ball where he just dropped back and threw it and hit their guys in the chest with it. It was just – one was just an unfortunate thing, and the other one we've been encouraging him to lay the ball up and give some of these receivers an opportunity to go make a play in man coverage. And their guy came down with it. Skip, you see the yards that Western Michigan and West Virginia, I think they had like 950 passing yards on this defense, the mm -hmm. two previous games. What, what do you, why do you think you guys weren't able to have the same success well, throwing you, down You field? look at the first half, um, we threw one ball in the dirt. I mean, there were some guys open. We just couldn't execute it. The, one of the first plays of the game, I mean, you just don't have the humidity up here in the air. And P.J. was having a hard time holding on to the ball and complaining about him being really slick. And the one ball went out of the back. You could see him. He kept running over the sideline and spraying his hands with water to try and keep him moist so he could he could grip the ball. And he just missed a couple balls. And, and they were, we were 0 for 5 or 1 for 5 on third down. And throwing the ball, I believe we were 4 of 8. But uh, I can't remember <coughs> in the first quarter or the first half that it was covered. We just we, we needed to execute. We came back out in the second half, and uh, I thought he started throwing the ball much better. He even tried in the second quarter. He came out there with a glove on. It was like, what is – he said, Coach, I can't grip it. It's just really slick. And then uh, the second half, we put hand warmers in his – be able to keep his hands real moist and sweaty so he could grip the ball. But uh, I just think early we couldn't, we, couldn't get, we couldn't get that. And then they <clears throat> had some man coverage. And when you look at the Western Michigan and the West Virginia game, you look at it. There were a lot of great circus catches in that game where guys went up and they beat man coverage. Um, we weren't able to do that. We weren't able to do that tonight. One plus was